An early battle for two NFC heavyweights. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see two teams looking to bounce back from disappointing seasons a year ago, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers playing host to the Dallas Cowboys. I'll be back with you at halftime with a look at the other games that are going on. But now let's get up to Charlotte. Standing by, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, we welcome all of our viewers inside a place that the folks around here like to call the Vault. And that's Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here in Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. normal spacing and run fix and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down of McCaffrey. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. His, his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Got a man, it's right. And he'll get this up. Because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the... That ...position and throw it. But they want to open things up. Remember, they drafted Christian McCaffrey last year to get him the ball in open space. They ended up drafting DJ Moore this year, so they want to be more explosive. Blitz coming, and down he goes. David Irving. Third and long, it's Newton. Trying for right, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And Man-on-man, -man, one -on one-on-one blocking. And also they have rules about where people have to be when the ball's kicked, where they have to be when the ball's caught. So to me it's as well, because I think you can still get big plays in this area if you have the right people back there. Now Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and then just continued there with that incompletion. cut balls out of his hands to the receiver in this case might be off by a half step either way they've got to find a way to get back in sync newton and he'll just toss it away so he throws it away and that brings up fourth down
much yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Again, that run again. It's McCaffrey. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up. From the gun, here's Newton. And the tight end, Olsen, right side. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. They've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Final shot before the break. Newton. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And of a big second half. They go play action here on first down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence. Quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Off play action. Newton. And he finds his man, the tight end Olsen. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. It's a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. To throw on second down is Newton. And right with it here over the middle. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. I would say keep feeding the horse. And I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 of the... Now a first down throw for Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half. Hey, 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 hey. That's it. 180. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And he gets it to French is complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Ash Kansas got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. They'll run for it with Anderson. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. First down. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down.
Newton on first down. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Here's Newton now on second down. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. And you're tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Here's Newton. And that is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off Byron Jones. And just to take into next week. Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were doing battles on the perimeter and find their way open. There's Newton. And now another one thrown incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the flyover, the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while opening game here an entire season we get into the playoffs to the super bowl i was really excited i could barely sleep last night i can't imagine being a player so for the cowboys not much to complain about here they come in and steal a victory in a tough place